I want to play Deus Ex Mankind Divided, but my CPU won't allow clothes physics, so the game is essentially unplayable. Therefore, I'm stuck with this 9 year old game. Human Revolution I don't like the game's subtitle, because aren't all revolutions human? A better title would be Deus Ex, Technology is Very Spooky, or Deus Ex, I forgot to quick save. It begins with a cinematic, we see this man talking to anonymous people about a female bioship or something. I'm sure it's important, but I can't focus, because why do they all use the default profile picture? At least one of them would use a koala. We cut to a news broadcast. A billionaire has said something he shouldn't and now people are angry, so the future isn't all that different. This is our main character, Adam Jensen, and he's the head of security at Serif Industries, a company that produces... Uh Cat food? This is Dr. Reed, she's an almost perfect girlfriend in a video game, so she's not gonna be around. We are on our way to meet CEO David Serif, and in an elevator we meet Pritcher, the head of cybersecurity, who is actually mad about the fact that even in the future cybersecurity still isn't as cool as physical security, no matter how hard Hollywood tries. Apparently we're going to Washington with some scientists. Then an alarm goes off. Oh shit, has there been an accident? No, thank god, we're only getting attacked by mercenaries. They beat up Jensen and take her. Girlfriend is gone and we are going after the people responsible. Then was any of this really necessary if you're going to be stealing the story from Mario Brothers? They shoot Jensen and the intro start. Doctors rescue him, but at what cost? No cost, he only gains a bunch of stuff and becomes half android. That means he can make a bunch of anti-robot jokes. I can't give you any examples, because that would be robotist. David Serp wants to meet us in a helicopter, and on the helipad we meet our helicopter driver, who wants to talk to us, but I don't want to talk to the help. Serif gives us our first mission. A bunch of employees, and more importantly, a weapon has been taken hostage by the anti-augmentation terrorist Seek Sanders, grandson of a presidential candidate that was a closet Wall Street banker. David asks if we want a lethal or a non-lethal weapon for a more stealthy approach. Stealth. I'm not at my parents' house trying to microwave popcorn, I'm here to kill. So we go in guns a blazing, killing everything we see. Then we rescue the hostages by hacking a bomb. Hacking is important in Deus Ex, it's also the only game to feature realistic hacking. You might think hacking looks like this, but that's what the security lobby wants you to think. Or you, you can just look up codes online, like me. Jensen is one month younger than the real me. You should be in bed by now, young man. Our child protagonist finds the weapon, but but someone is hacking it. Then the hacker kills himself against his own will. And now everyone is freaking out because mystery. What they don't consider is maybe this guy is just fucking with them. Time to meet Sanders to get some answers. But he has a hostage. You have to talk to him. <laughs> uh. During the mission debriefing they realize that Sanders was tricked by whoever did this. And we need to analyze these augmentations. But SWAT has taken his corpse that we totally had dibs on. Who do they think they are? The cops? So the second mission is to break into the police morgue. Now you can walk the streets of Detroit. Don't know why you would want to. Here is where Jensen says the now famous quote, I never ask for the procedures. Police station. The two main ways to get into the morgue is to either talk to this guy about your feelings or sneak in from the sewers. But they are forgetting something. No one actually told me this was a stealth game. What's up, Doc? Fun fact, kill like 12 cops. Never comes up. The corpse's brainy thingy has been modified by some techie mumbo jumbo. Yes, those were the exact words they used. We take them to Pritchard so he can analyze it. We find out that the guy was controlled by some sort of mega hacker hiding in Highland Park. Welcome to an abandoned factory. It's always an abandoned factory. It's those guys that attacked us. In the slowest elevator in the universe we find out that the facility is owned by FEMA. What is a FEMA? In the real world it's a government agency that fist fights hurricanes. 
But in the Deus Ex world, I don't know what they do, but they have a prison camp and we are in that prison camp. We meet up with the guys and boss fight. I have no idea how to beat this guy, but I have a fire extinguisher in case he tries to kill me with second hand smoking. Don't dodge! Works every time. The boss's final words are, you should totally go to Hengsha Shanghai, here's an address. This is not a trap. So Seraph decides that we should do that. That. That's stupid, you're stupid. Outside Seraph's office we meet Taggart, who is the leader of the anti-turning humans into kick-ass robots movement. That makes him the worst person in history. This is what Hengsha looks like right now. But in 10 years it's gonna look like this. The address leads to a place named Hengsha Court Gardens, but it's been locked down by private police. Oh my god, can Jensen not go one day without killing cops? The cannon father leads us to this computer. The hacker who's been hacking us is some Dutch guy. But he escaped and is trying to get back to his home country of... Uh... Holland? So wait, the address this guy gave us actually helped. Of course, their actions, FEMA, private government police, it's so obvious who's behind this. Morons. Our enemies are morons. To escape, the hacker got help from a Cantonese gangster named Tong. Actually, his name is Si Hung, but he wrote his surname first for some reason. Tong tells us where the Dutchman is. Wait, that's it? You're just gonna tell me? No mission or anything? Screw you, Tong. Hello, I am Dutch Hacker. I was hired to hack you by your biggest competitor. That's way too obvious and reasonable. Then some soldiers show up. They have the place surrounded, but I could sneak past them. It's way easier to sneak past a dead person. Time to infiltrate our biggest competitor. I don't want to be discovered because I, that might give our company bad press, but you can bet I'm gonna steal so much office supplies. In a computer room we find a surveillance recording that shows the company's CEO talking to... Wow, we still don't know his name. She talks about a lady named Eliza and a city from Chinese legend called Moon Tea Reel. So we go to the top floor so we can question her and she tricks us because Jensen is a fucking idiot. Oh no, is that 10 people? Jensen tells the pilot that he wants to go to Canada because he thinks Eliza might be a reporter, Eliza Kazan. Yes, he knows that there are more than one Eliza in Canada, but you have to start somewhere. Welcome to Baguette Canada, but the news station is empty. There she is. Oh shit, she's a hologram. Oh shit, soldiers. These aren't soldiers sent by the people after us. Every news station has an in-house paramilitary in case another station tries to steal their headlines. Eliza is in the basement and she's a supercomputer. Not even surprised. Boss fight! Wow, she really should have worn a helmet. Eliza shows us that Taggart's sidekick helped with the kidnapping and we should talk to Serif. Adam, Illuminati did this. Of course. Who are the Illuminati? It's this world government conspiracy from 2014, created by video game montage parodies. Time to find Taggart's assistant. Taggart, tell me where your assistant is or I will blow your head off. He's in a sewer and very sad that Taggart threw him under the bus. Apparently the scientists have a tracker and they are still sending out a signal but no one checked because Seraph doesn't do paid over time. So no one cared. Now he's planning on killing himself and I have to talk him out of it because I am the only one doing the killing here. Back at Seraph HQ we are supposed to meet Seraph but instead we meet the inventor of augmentations who is whining about how his inventions has caused so many problems problems. If you don't want your inventions to be used for evil, you shouldn't invent anything. The inventor of the machine gun wanted it to be a can opener. Then Seri finally shows up. They've tracked down one of the scientists. Back to Hengsha. Hey, they shot us down. Hey, they are killing our pilot. How are we ever gonna replace her? A new pilot? That could take days! This signal leads us to a place full of triad members. Well, was full of triad members. The scientist is in this room. Tong! Oh my god, Tong was a serif scientist all along. What a twist! Oh, the tracker is in his arm. That he stole from the scientist. Who is now dead. But Tong knows where the others are. In the docks, there is a boat owned by the bad guys. 
Oh, that's it. That's that's all you have. Screw you, Tong. Fuck it, let's ride the boat. A couple of days later, we wake up in Singapore, la. The scientists are here. They got an all-expenses six-month paid trip to Singapore. And the only thing they had to give up was their freedom. How do I become a scientist? They have been working on a bio ship, but no one cares. Where's Dr. Reed? She's deeper in the facility, but first we have to fight this boss that has been hyped up so many times. This will be epic. There she is, and Adam gets angry. She thinks it's because she was working for them, but it's actually because what kind of asshole gets an apartment in a tropical country then doesn't tell anyone? Does she not know of hotel costs? Then we find out the bad guy behind it all. That's the least surprising thing ever. They have distributed a bunch of bio ships. He activates them and everyone with augmentations go crazy. Then the game does what we all expected from the start and becomes a zombie game. We meet up with the inventor and he's all, oh, my inventions! And Jensen is all, you're a fucking idiot. And then he agrees. So we head towards the basement to shut down the bio ships. On our way we meet Taggart and he says, when I joined the Illuminati, best tacos on the planet. Then Serif and he says, Corporations, ah oh, yeah! And I might have to agree with him because if not, YouTube might not consider my videos advertiser friendly. Time to shut down the reactor. But oh no, it's her and she does stuff. I have no idea how to beat this boss. I have no idea how I beat the boss. Now we get to pick our ending. Do what the Illuminati wants, but then someone on YouTube might expose you. Tell everyone the truth about the Illuminati and everything. His main argument was think of their faces, it will be hilarious. Or you can help corporations. Hashtag emoji bay or kill everything. But there is a fifth ending. All four endings at the same time. The thing about humans is that when things get too confusing, we give up. After four days, all of humanity decided, let's pretend none of this ever happened. And that is the Killian experience. 